this is just an experiment. I don't know if it's going to work, and that's, that's fine. Um, for those of you that can see, just a regular deck of cards, which they all say. For those of you that can't see, I have a blue deck of playing cards. Um, what I would like you to do, all right, we'll just, just say stop. Stop. All right, so we're going to use, and it's okay if I see this card. It's not that kind of trick. So it is a four of clubs, okay? So we're going to take the four clubs, and we're going to mark it in a way that is unique to this card, okay? So for those of you that are just listening, Adam, actually, if you want to describe what I'm Ripping doing. Ripping off the corner. We're going to keep this corner. as, yep, we're going to keep that as a receipt. Um, Put it actually, in his pocket. Actually, I'm going to actually have you hold on to it so that it matches. So we have one card that matches a corner. Um, it's kind of a receipt. There's no way uh, that anything else would fit that. Um, we're just marking it so we can, we can follow it later. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to lose it into the deck, okay? Um, and there's no place to shuffle, so we'll just do it by hand, if that's okay. Yep. Just give it a little shuffle. And again, for those of you that aren't are just listening, um, a ripped card with a corner missing that Adam has is lost into the deck, and I am going to uh, not palm anything, so I'm going to try to show you my hands. But the other thing is, can you turn the corner up so we can remember what it was? Yeah. So we're you looking just for... Make sure on this camera we can... Yep. See, there we go. And all I'm going to do is, again, we're looking for a four of clubs. A four of clubs that's going to match that corner. Because what I would like to do is actually have you sign it. And I brought a Sharpie. So now this is just an experiment. And because I didn't know how much time we were going to have, I kind of kept it short and sweet. We should have it here. Do, 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 do. Nope, that's a queen. Four of spades. Okay. So at this point, the four of clubs, and you can inspect, is completely gone from the deck, which is interesting, right? Um, but this is where the magic happens. And what I want you to do is focus on my hands. I want you to really attest that there's nothing here. Have I done anything shady yet, really? Truly no. shady. Nothing shady. So, bought some Skittles. Skittles, this episode is brought to you by Skittles, Taste the Rainbow. Um, what I want you to do, what? Adam, <laughs> is if you can, I don't want to spill the Skittles on your couch, but now the only way we're going to know if that's your card is if it matches the corner that you ripped off. And then I'll explain how we did it. Everybody can see. So did it match, right? So, yeah. okay. So what did we do? We did a, a transference, right? Something happened over here and went to an impossible location. Um, and without palming it, I didn't, you know, there are ways to palm a card. Well, that was shitty. Uh, there are ways to palm a card where you can palm it and then look like you're pulling things out of it, but really you're just, you know, bringing it around or you're leaving it in your hand somewhere where they can't see it and you're pretending to pull it out. That was legitimately in Skittles. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so... It was so weird. When you started ripping that, too, I could just see the four in the corner. Right. So how do you think... Let's, let's de-engineer this, because I don't, I don't care. How do you think that happened? Well, first off, this tear is separate. This is different. I guarantee you it's from that card, 100%. Is it? Mm hmm Huh. Yeah, because the one that I tore... Oh, you're right. Yeah, the one I tore is like... I try yeah. to make it distinguishable by leaving a little piece that might pop so that they can see it kind of. Yeah. When I first piece. looked at it, 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 I was looking at it like this. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Overlaying so like, it differently. Yeah. Oh, yeah so it yeah. looked like uneven. So do you believe camera. that that piece, this, this is that definitely card. the, I have no fucking clue how, how you did that. Cause that was what I thought initially is like, you did that. It was a distraction and this was a different one, but you knew which card it was going to be. Right. I that's literally why, have no that's why idea the piece how you needed just to be ripped this. off yeah. because it has to match. It has to match. Otherwise, you're right. It doesn't matter. I could just have this anywhere under your couch and just give you a different piece and be like, oh, yeah. But no, it, it definitely has to match 100%. And it does. It's, this corner is definitely from if that If you're card. just listening to this episode, you need to fucking get on YouTube right now because that was insane. I, can you break it down? Yeah, okay. I can. Can you keep a secret? I, I mean, I... I don't know if our listeners and viewers can, but... So I could get in a lot of hot water for this, but I don't really care. Um, again, any theories? I'd love to see if you had a theory. Remember, Occam's Razor, the easiest solution is most commonly the correct one. This corner was ripped off. The card was put into the deck, no longer in the deck, arrives in a sealed, deck of, or a sealed pack of Skittles and matches exactly. 
God, I'm, I'm bad at these, like, on the spot. That's fine. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you ruminate on that a little bit. We might okay. revisit it. Okay. And um, and if we never solve it, then I'd love to see some comments of what people... There's definitely people out there that know how this is done. Yeah. That could tip it for everybody. And I'd love to see what they, they come up with as well. I mean, was the card in there when you got here? Yeah. It, it's been in there the it's whole time? Been in there since I bought those, yeah. So you didn't, I mean, you didn't, you saw me sit Skittles over there. And you're like, I think yeah. that's for a trick. And then we've been talking this whole time. Yeah. So, I mean, we have footage that I haven't gone near anything. Absolutely. Okay. But when you like, when you bought that package, did you put that card in there and then seal it back up? Uh, yep. Okay. So then you knew what card you were looking forward to do that with. Yep. And you knew what corner you were going to rip. Yep. That That's where I don't understand. This is the great part of magic. A good magic trick means that you can understand everything that's happening. And the more you understand about it, the less you understand about what happened. Because you're like, well, that card was in there. But then how did we rip the corner? How did that corner get here? And now we're in a logic loop that doesn't, there's nowhere to go. Yeah. And then you become your own false narrator where you're like, I know that I saw gas like the shit out of people with this. Right. And that's what's fun about it because the more you understand about what just happened, because some people just be like, oh, that's cool. Yay. The more you think about it, the less it makes sense and the more magical it becomes. Yeah. I, I'm going to have to rewatch that a handful of times. I feel so stupid too right now. Like I'm just like, it doesn't make any sense. And, I, and you know, that's, that's the thing. Well, that's stupidity. It's not stupidity. It's that I thought I understood and you're showing me that, you know, there's something else out there. Yeah. You know, but some magicians are dicks about it. They're like, yeah, that's right. I'm fucking smart. You know, and then that's, you know, I'm not smarter than you because I know what happened. Yeah. You know, you just know. I'm just smarter trick. than you about this one thing. No, I'm just this, kidding. This fucking, this thing being sealed to it. I'm still ruminating on it. Somebody throw it in the comments as to what just happened here, please. I would, I can't wait. That's why I'm kind of hesitant to like reveal right now. Yeah. Because I would, there's, Nothing is funner than hearing people's theories. Maybe when we turn off the camera. Oh, a hundred percent. Okay. hundred okay, cool. percent. Yeah. You get any other ones? Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. We got to get rid of, so we got to have 52 total. Let's get rid of the jokers and there should be another joker possibly. Or maybe not. Okay. Um, again, so since it's in, so is it 51 now? Yeah. Well, there's would be, yeah, because we also yeah we removed that Joker and the other Joker seems to be missing as well. So. But because of the four. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yep, we're actually missing a, a four of clubs, which is interesting. So it, I don't know. A lot of people don't know this. If you add up, these are called pips. The numbers at the top. Mm -hmm. If you add up every single card, so seven, two, five, ten, all the way through the other to the end of the cards, it's three hundred sixty-five. There's fifty-two cards, fifty-two weeks in a year. 13 different cards per suit, like ace through king, 13 phases of the moon. Again, if you add up every single one of them, it's 365. So there's a lot of like um, lunar and earthly time frames in a deck of cards. Sailors used to use them as a way to kind of keep track of how many days they were out, all kinds of things like that. But there's something called clocking the deck that I can do, which is adding up every single number quickly to see what's missing, mm -hmm. right? So if you just, okay, just touch the back of a card, which one? Uh, right here. Right there. Take it. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. uh, 360. So you have a five. Yeah. Right. Okay. So that's great for gambling because if we're playing blackjack and I'm trying to track and I know that the deck, or if I know that, you know, we've played five, that we have 360 numbers in there, five hearts. Yeah. I didn't, now I didn't, with that, I can't tell what the suit is. Yeah. Right. Because you know, I'm just doing numbers, but to be able to count and see what's missing is helpful. That's wild. Dude. Yeah, totally wild. And again, that's just a way to gamble with it. Um, you never like made a bunch of money in Texas playing cards. Uh, not in Texas, but I'm in the military. I'm a full time active duty service member. So I would get deployed to certain areas and there's nothing to do but play cards. And you'd be integrated with other, I don't know what I should say. We, you get integrated with other um, branches. So the air force is always really easy marks because they're always kind of nerdy kids and kind of confident and stuff. So I would always sit down and be like, Hey, I don't know how to play poker. Do you mind if I'm just the dealer tonight so I can learn? And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. And I would sit there and just deal. 
And then maybe an hour later, a friend of mine would come up that they don't know I'm friends with and sit down and be like, hey, do you guys mind if I play? Now, if I won anything, it would look suspicious, but I can feed this cat pocket twos all night yeah. and let him win. And then we split it all the time, Yeah, all the time. And, you know, we're just doing the movie rounders just in real life. Nothing too heavy, you know. Mm-hmm. It's just usually for drink tokens that you would get at, at the little local uh, watering hole. More on the base. fun of more the can fun you of get away can with you doing get away it. With yeah. It. But the difference is, if I have you pick a card and I get it wrong, or if I'm trying to do a certain deal and I get it wrong as a magic trick, ah, we just laugh it off. But if I'm doing it in a game and I get caught, like depending on who you're playing with, it could be bad. You can get your ass beat. Oh, totally, or worse. Yeah. Hey, if you like that video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and follow our page for new weekly content.